and weather. Early rain across Wales, northern and central England will move northwards into eastern Scotland. Otherwise, a day of sunny spells and a scattering of showers. Top temperatures of 16 in Cardiff, 15 in Edinburgh, 14 degrees in Belfast and reaching 18 here in Windsor. That's the BBC News at five past eight. We are live at Windsor Castle for the 500 Words Final 2019! <laughs> one of Britain's brightest musical stars. Here he is, Mr. Tom Walker. Yeah, I've got no rules with my home. Was never on the run. I got no rules with my home. Was never on the run. I got no rules. Winner on 500 words. I feel amazing. Yeah, I've got <laughs> no rules. Please make some noise for the oh so brilliant bastards. <laughs> I still remember these old Sometimes she would cry to sleep that no one had seen her frilly frills. And it was obvious that he was terrified of the dentist. My tooth hurts, said Tyrone in a small voice, but small for a dinosaur. What a town! And now let's hear from Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Queen. Your writing also celebrates the richness and variety of English language. Your starry stories sparkle and ignite. Thank you very much. Multi award winning <laughs> Matilda the Musical. Please welcome Francesca. We're told we have to do what we're told, but surely Sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty The gold winning story in the age 5 to 9 age category is Snow Blood Window Frame by Eve Malloy How are you feeling? I feel amazing actually <laughs> I feel like I'm going to cry because, like, oh. that's really, really cool. Really cool. <laughs> Dead. Clue, the apple was poisoned. What did you expect? I can reveal that the gold-winning story in the 10 to 13 age category is Why Did the Chicken by Esme Harrison-Jones. <laughs> so I take it when you were writing it, you didn't think it was going to win? No. <laughs> but it just has. Tell me, where did you get the idea from? Um, well, I've always loved jokes and comedy, so I thought, why don't I just use a classic joke? Majestically, the valiant young chicken flew through the air like a feathery firework, carrying his fellow chicken's hopes and dreams for about 20 centimetres. Before splat, his adventure was ended by the number 29 double-decker bus. I was just so excited and obviously my feelings got a bit, I was a bit overwhelmed so I started crying. It was like an idol to me so it was actually really meaningful for me. It was great because everyone was laughing at the parts that were meant to be funny. It's such a brilliant event because when children are growing up, that's when their minds are shaping and forming and their imagination can go wild and run riot. Honestly, how much fun has 500 Words Final been today? It's just been so fun. It's been incredible, hasn't it? Firstly, to be in Windsor Castle, uh, because your nan and granddad lived down the road. I grew up down the road and I used to look at Windsor Castle, see when the flag was flying and know whether the Queen was in or not. So to be in such a magnificent room, just such a positive, joyous event. And seeing the kids' faces it's... when Hugh Bonneville reads out your story, pants, um, Little Maya, it was such a, such a great moment. <laughs> The winner stories today were brilliant, girl power, six girl winners. When we're judging, we don't know if they're girls or boys, we don't know their exact age, we don't know where they're from. So the best stories win, regardless of who they are. They could have won before even. It's all about the stories. And this year, six girls, so next year, boys, seriously, we've got to do better. Now, let's talk about next year, okay? Next year, 
is our 10th year, okay? It's going to be the most special final ever in the most special place. How can it be better than this? How can it be better than Hampton Court, the Tower of London and Windsor Castle? Where might that final be?